Welcome to the Rampage Room. Today we're going to destroy a lot of things. So we have a lot of fun hitting these bottles. On this wall, we're using a hammer for the TV. And we record all these sound effects with the Shep's DMS. So we're using three microphones. And later on, I would like to show you what I do in post with these recordings. But first, let's start destroying all these great things. We're starting with the bottles. So I have the microphones facing this way. What's great about DMS is later in post, I can decide if I wanna just have it as a mono recording or as a surround. I can also choose between an X, Y, 90 degree, 120 degree, or I can also do a 5.1. So there are so many options that you have if you record with an MS or DMS. And that's what we're having here. Now let's start with the bottles. But safety first, helmet and gloves. Now what we're doing is I'm gonna place two bottles here. I got one. Also, it's important to have maybe different distances as well. But yeah, if you have a very directional microphone, it's also great. You see this nice shot? That's what we're trying to get. So we're done with the bottles. In this video, of course, I record later on way more to create a sound library with these recordings. And now, what should we do? Let's do the TV, huh? But also with this, later in post, I can change the direction of the microphone and can make this even more direct. So I'm very excited how that sounds like later in post. That was a good one. This stuff in here is quite poison. But it's a good sound. Enough with the hammer for now. You see we have all this plastic and now we just throw this on the wall. But this is a different sound effect. First we have a lot of glass, now we have a lot of plastic. Starting with this little controller, the problem could be if I smash it too hard, it could fly back right in my face. That's why I throw it lower so that if something happens, it just flies here in this way. This is a Sony controller and uh, on a PlayStation. I don't know if we should do that. Now let's see if I can break this with my bare hands. Now, if you're first time here on our channel and you don't know who actually needs sound like this, sound designers, music producers that like to use different sound effects like organic sounds and then creating an instrument out of it or it's part of a song, part of a melody. There are plugins out there. You can do so many amazing things 
with sounds like that. I think I recorded enough sounds for you, but I'm not done here. I use all the other tools and the equipment in here to record more sounds for the sound library that you can find in the description down below. But now let's go home after I'm done and then I show you on the computer what we can do with these sound effects using the Shreps plugin for DMS recordings. This was a lot of fun destroying all these items and recording them. However, we are back home and it's time for me to edit these sound effects. This is not a tutorial video about the Shreps DMS plugin because Shreps already did one in the past. So you can find the link in the description down below. Still, I would like to show you my workflow and editing process. And before we get started, and that may surprise you, I provide these DMS recordings in their original form without processing. Now, if you're wondering why would I do that? And the reason is I don't know the intention of a sound engineer, video game developer or music producers and how they would like to use these sound recordings in their project. If I start manipulating or export these sound effects in a format that they don't need, then I would lose sales or even a customer. And the Shreps DMS plugin is free, so I let them decide what they can do with these original recordings. Now for Bandcamp and the all-in-one bundle, I do provide these sounds in a stereo format. And this is what I would like to show you how I do this using the Shreps DMS plugin. So let's dive right into it. Now for this example, I'm using Audition, but you can also use any other DAW that you use with the Shreps DMS plugin. Now let's just listen to it, but also the plugin is already a little older. And as you can see, I have a small screen and the plugin is not responsive. As you can see, maybe the developer from Shreps could look over it and create a new version to fix this problem. But now if you listen to it, just, just listen to the sound. This is three channel recording, cardioid figure eight and the cardioid rear, front figure eight and rear. And you can see this here on the right side with the input levels. And now the plugin already created a stereo mix, as you can see here down in the output levels. Boom. And we can decide later, that's what I mentioned, four channel, five channel, we can have 90 degrees, 120. You can either change the degree here by going, maybe if you want 180, you know, all kinds of things that you can do. But what are we actually looking at here? If you are new to our channel, these are the polar patterns of your microphone. That means we can change them from here on the left side. We can have either a figure eight and we can rotate this to any direction we want. Or what we can do is this is a omnidirectional polar pattern. And that's, that's, that's actually all what you can do within this plugin, of course other things, but I wanted to show you what I do with these sound recordings. And for me, it's, it's very simple. I already have my own custom preset. It's 120 XY that I mostly use for my ambience recordings when I export them, because I like it to have it a little bit more wide sounding and just take a listen how that sounds like. You see, this polar pattern now is a super cardioid polar pattern. Let me just go back to this one. This is cardioid, again, this is super cardioid. Here we go, now let's listen to it. It's a little wider. And what we can do is we can change the output gain. If you just said, oh, I want to have this a little bit more, it's like a balloon, right? You, but you don't change the polar pattern itself. It's just, bam, louder. Then here we can have also change the gain from the ambience itself. That's when things get really loud. But what we don't create is we don't create a noise. I know a lot of people uh, using quiet recordings and then they pump up the gain and then they create a lot of noise. Here you can really focus on that. But these are also really good microphones. Wow. Very loud, so I have to be careful that I don't ruin my hearing. But that's about it. That's all what I do. You see, very basic, not too much, because I want that the sound engineer decides what they can do with these recordings.
Thank you so much for watching and I hope I could show you a little bit more about my workflow and if you need these sound effects feel free to check them out on our Bandcamp account or within the all-in-one bundle. If you have any other questions leave me a comment down below and I can't wait to see you in our next video.